you know, um, I think we should be teaching our kids the joy of manual labor. I think that that is a really important thing to um, to realize, get your hands dirty and to do different things. So um, I want to talk about that today. And I'm going on my morning walk. It's an early in the morning walking the doggies, so I'm not going to talk too loud. Um, I apologize for that, but um, hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. All right, so um, I think it's really, really important for everybody to teach their kids or um, teach other kids, and mostly it's going to be your kids, the joy of manual labor, um, to do things that are not necessarily um, easy to do. So one thing that um, we get our kids to do is, you know, um, we used to, um, so we did get a house cleaner in the last few years, but before that, we teach our kids to, you know, clean the house. What we do is spend, generally it was like on a Saturday, spend half the day cleaning the house, maybe even a little more. We do that every Saturday. Um, it wasn't until pretty recently where we changed and we got somebody to help out with that. Um, and both of our kids helped and pitched in with cleaning the house in various different aspects. That was an important part. Um, and now what we do instead is we, we cut the grass. So we'll spend the half a day. This um, So before we sort of switched is what happened. We had somebody to cut the grass and now we cut our own grass. So um, the kids cut the grass with me. Um, you know, and pitch in in different ways, pull weeds. And then we um, pay them for doing that. It's not easy. We live in Florida. Cutting the grass is pretty hot and sweaty. Um, and they are not really enjoying it. But what's really interesting is when you get them to do that, um, they both... They, um, so, so we get them to do that instead of paying allowance of any sort. Um, we pay them a, a very good wage for cutting the grass. And we do that almost instantly and, and give them the money. And when we do that, you sort of see that they completely enjoy the process. And I think you're actually robbing people of um, robbing your kids of any sort of real significant experience when you do that. And there's something about doing manual labor. Um, you just n name it, right? Like something with your hands that is extremely rewarding. That um, when you do it, you see the results instantly. I think that's why a lot of people love cutting the grass is that they see the results instantly and they can sort of see, um, you know, you get a real sense of pride in the work that you're doing. This is not something that you necessarily feel um, when you're doing other kind of work, like sitting down and doing homework. You don't see the same sort of result. The only thing that, the only thing that I tend to see that in is in math, but it's still not the same thing. Um, you know, even in sports, so our, you know, we do swimming, that's our thing right now. You know, sports that sort of switches back and forth. But even with that, you don't see the results right away. It's a very slow process of doing whatever the thing you're working on, right? It takes you 15, 20 times by the time you actually start getting something. And so it's important, I think, to do the manual labor and to remember to give everybody the gift of manual labor. I think that's an important part of everybody's lives that we should um, do where you see the results of the thing that you're working on. And it's you don't see that in a lot of different areas. Um, and, you know, the other thing is you realize is that um, you can accomplish a lot when you do that. 
you know, having having a sense of pride um, in your work really does start to show, and it's really been fun. So my my kids been doing it for a while now, a couple of years, um, at least a couple of years that we've been doing this, and you really see them enjoying it, and then not only enjoying it, but then having a sense of pride where they don't want to half-ass things anymore. Um, they want to do things sort of the way that, um, you know, they have a good result. So I just want to encourage everybody to do that as they, you know, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, if you have kids, um, you, know, you have grandkids, I think, like, manual labor is is a great thing to encourage people to do, um, to get that reward instantly. I think if you take that away from people, they just will never get a sense of, of pride. Um, so it's just important to do that and uh, to do those things on a regular basis. That's all I wanted to say. I think it's important that we just teach manual labor, dig it, um, and, and the the idea of just knowing that your the stuff that you do does have an immediate impact. It's just it's just a fun experience, to be honest. And we've taught that all the way through as our kids have gotten older, right when they were little, like three, four years old. Even maybe even younger, we used to give them quarters to clean the windows and you know um, anything like that. Part of what we're doing, it's just just fun, um, and then they get a sense of what money means. It's really fun to see them. So we give them a certain amount of money once they do that, and then whatever they do with their money after that, it's their money, and we don't argue with them if they want to buy something. Um, I'm like, well, it's your money. And um, it's fun because you can see them start making wise choices. They, over time, have saved money because of it. It's just a really fun experience to do this. It's actually just, you would think, a lot of people would think that that was, like, mean, but it's actually a really joyful experience for us anyways. All right, that's all I want to talk about is the importance of getting your kids to do manual labor. All right, take care. Bye.